And that is how you become a 28 day challenge ninja. Get to work. <laughs> Hello, welcome beautiful. I'm so happy that you have decided to join with me today that we are coming together and you're gonna need a few preliminary products, I think. First of all, let's go over what we're doing today. We are going to be creating a 28 day challenge together from beginning to end. That means that this is gonna be a long video. Now, I would warn you and be like, long video alert, but honestly, between me and you, we're friends here, we can be honest with one another, every video has been long and probably longer than your average video. So maybe I'll just start warning you when it's gonna be a short video. <laughs> And until then, just assume it's going to be a long video. Friend, please go get your warm, yummy beverage. Mine is in my laugh emoji cup because this is one of those projects that takes a lot of commitment. Like, you're just going to have to commit to the process, but you will love it when it's done. The other thing that I would love for you to have on is a little bit of abundance essential oil. So if you have your abundance blend around, go grab it, smell it, put it on. I put mine behind my ears and on my wrist and just take a moment to get in that abundance mindset. Here are the logistics of what you are going to need for this project above and beyond what I just mentioned. First, you will need grow workspace if you want to use Grow Workspace for where you get your content from. You do not need Grow Workspace if you plan on writing your own 28 day challenge. You don't need Grow Workspace. I'm pulling my stuff from Grow Workspace because it's already there and I already use it, so I may as well just copy and paste, right? The other thing that you will need is to go get a Marketing Sense account. I know, Bev, you're telling me about Marketing Sense again. Okay, I'm sorry. I use that platform for everything. So I'm gonna show you how to do this in Marketing Sense. Is it absolutely pivotal that you have Marketing Sense? It is not. You, again, you can use Constant Contact, you can use Aweber, you can use, there's a number of platforms out there that you can use, but there are other drip campaign things out there. I just like to put everything in Marketing Sense because it's like the landing page is gonna be in Marketing Sense. It's going to send them to my email drip campaign for 28 days automatically. And I just like how everything seamlessly runs together. So I don't wanna keep beating that horse, but that's what I'm gonna be using today. Okay, Grow Workspace, Marketing Sense. What I'm gonna show you next is I actually just want to draw out for you what it is we are attempting to do here. So let me draw out for you really quick what it is that we're going for, these large, Post-it notes are my friend. <laughs> if you want to know how I brainstorm, where my ideas come from, uh, usually they start with like a little piece of paper like this. Let's talk about our 28 day challenge and what we are going to be creating. Step one to just about anything that you're going to do is going to be your landing page. We are going to create a landing page. With your landing page, this will be how you're going to be able to send this to your downline members, to potential clients, to people who you would like to see take advantage of your 28 day challenge. You're going to send them to a landing page and the only things that you need to collect for them is going to be their name. And I usually just do like the first name and it's going to be their email. You can do this 28 day challenge as a text message as well. In which case, if you would like to add that text messaging component, you're going to need their phone number, but that's not a requirement. Sorry, my marker is going out. Then what you are going to be creating today, what we are going to do together is we're going to do a confirmation email. confirmation email. This is going to give them all of the instructions that they're going to need in order to complete the 28 day challenge, which is also written out for you. If you have grow workspace, if you don't, you do want to make sure that you're writing a nice email to the people who are going to be taking you up on your challenge so that they know what to expect and what date the challenge is going to start. So then the real trick, if you will, to the 28 day challenge is the email drip campaign. We're going to create our drip campaign.
And this is going to be emailed out to everyone who is taking our 28 day challenge on a daily basis. We're going to be presetting these up so that they will flow without you having to think about it. And all you've got to do is log into your system and check on all of the people who are giving you feedback. A couple of alternatives though, that we're not necessarily going to go into is you can pre-schedule these to be instead of emails to be Facebook events where you have posts that are going up once a day for 28 days. Um, it can be a text message campaign, like I've said. You can really get creative with how you want people to be able to grab your 28 days of information, but this is what I'm gonna be showing you today. Back to the computer. All right, so now that you have a little bit of a better idea of the overall picture of what we're going to be doing, let's get started. The first place that we are gonna travel to is actually going to be Marketing Sense. So let's get logged in. Step one is going ahead and diving into Marketing Sense. I leave this up just for all of you who might be new. You're going to be running into this first. Some of you will actually be on the dashboard first and it will look like this. Either way, whichever way you headed into here, this is what you will see when you get there, one of those two pages. So step one is we will be starting our landing page. So click over into my website Go down to lead capture page options and we are going to launch the wizard. This is going to be 28 day and as usual this is just what I do. I usually use the standard template and I select no theme on my capture page. And now we're going to select continue customizing now. If you have not watched any of the previous videos where we walk through what this goes for, when you are putting this together, you have this little preview screen. And well, it's really more of a guide. And when you are changing the wording over here, the wording over here isn't going to update. It's just going to highlight where that information goes. We're going to now go over to Grow Workspace and log in. Select, I'm selecting English because that's where I am in the US and that's my market. And then come down to Resources to Educate. And this first option right here, 28 Days to Elevate, this is what we are going for. Now this is the actual graphic that I want to use for my 28 days to elevate. So I'm going to right click this and select view image and save image to downloads. Now you can also read through all of these items right here. Sometimes that gives you really good wording for what you want to use. But I am going to go into, I just clicked over here what to expect. And I just love this little weekly breakdown. So we're going to call this Welcome to 28 Days to Elevate. Right, 28 days to elevate. Yeah, oh, 28 to elevate. Okay, so let's get rid of days. I'm trusting the marketing experts. 28 to elevate. Let's see, simple, uh, make simple and effective shifts in everyday life for sustainable change. I like that. making simple and effective shifts to implement in everyday life for sustainable change. Good. So then down here, I'm gonna come to Grow Workspace. I'm going to head over to what to expect. And I'm just gonna copy all of this. onto my page. Okay. 
And then one thing I'm going to do is add that photo. So I'm going to put my cursor up here. And click and drag. So there it is, big, beautiful, gorgeous. Make it about like that. If you want to incorporate Young Living products into this challenge, you will find a carefully curated list and products to take your 28 days of wellness. Find it by joining the challenge and filling out the information to the mm, filling out Let's call it the contact form. None of these are required, but we do highly suggest looking over the list to see if anything speaks to you and picking out a few items in each section. The premium starter kit includes oils that are great for each of the above categories, so is that is what you have to start with Purdy on. Okay, if you'd like to grab a kit for getting started, Click here, and you know what we're going to put right there? Let's go to our Young Living back office and grab our link. So we'll go to my account. I subscribe to my YL website. If you don't, in member resources, let me see if it'll still show me. Yeah, you have this link builder right here. And so you can grab the link that will populate your sponsor and enroller if you put this link in there. I am going to go to my YL website, manage site, and I'm going to grab my enrollment link. Copy link. And then where it says click here, let's go ahead and insert a link. There you go. So people can click that and grab their kit if they want to get started. Now what I do like to do is when things are long and wordy, I will go through and just bold and highlight some areas. And again, where it says premium starter kit, I'm going to go ahead and just highlight that and stick my little link in there. So next, let's change this little section right here. And we're going to change this to I'm in. To join. Oh my gosh. I'm ready to join the challenge. And then instead of immediate access, we're going to click submit. Click here, just like that. So let's save our changes and preview. And this looks a little long, so 28 to elevate, making simple. Let's go simple ships every day for sustainable change. Let's save that and preview. Okay, I like that. Oh, that's okay, these look gorgeous. Gorge, gorge. So now we're going to fix this over here. Again, we just need their first name and their email in order to get this to work. If you're going to use a texting option, then you'll need the phone number. So how do we do that? What do we do next? Good question. We're gonna go into Marketing Sense. We're going to go back to 
my website and lead capture page options. And then we'll just scroll all the way down because our newest one is gonna be here at the bottom. And we're gonna select build your capture info, your info capture form. We're gonna take off last name and phone number. We will keep first name and email address and we will make both of those required. And there we go. So when we go over here and we refresh, there you go. I'm in. I'm ready to join the challenge. I don't I like that. Sorry, you guys. I can be picky sometimes. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. We're going to say, yes, I'm ready to join the challenge. All right, there you go. Step one is complete. Go take a break. Breathe in, breathe out, sip your coffee, put your feet up, get your mind off the project for just a second, and then come back and we are going to go into creating our form for capturing all of the contacts that are going to come to us. And then we will get into the actual building of the email drip campaign. We've got two big project still ahead of us. So please go take a break and rest your brain for just a second and we will come right back. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you are now refreshed, smelled a little peppermint, re-breathed in that abundance because we are going to start working on the content and what that means with marketing sense is we need to create our contact folder. So every landing page you want those leads to go into a particular folder so you know why people are signing up with you, okay? Like what made them fill out the first and last name and wanna get connected in the first place? What we're gonna do is, is over here, you're gonna select the little um, sprocket to create and manage your folders, and then you're gonna select add folder, and we're gonna call this one 28 to elevate. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select create a new campaign. Okay, so we're gonna hit close and we are going to now head to marketing, the marketing tab, down to email campaigns. And over here, you're gonna see the 28 to elevate campaign that's already been created. We are gonna hit the edit button and now we're gonna select add new message and we're gonna come over here and grab grow workspace. This is just back, again, we've already been signed in. This is the wording that we used for our landing page and we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom of grow workspace and you're gonna select this email text campaign right here. Up here is where you see the download button. Go ahead and select that and it's gonna download a Microsoft Word document that has all of the text that you're going to need for your 28 day challenge. And here is what that looks like. If you are starting your 28 days kind of together as a team, you're gonna need to do something a little bit different and we're gonna have to schedule emails out for that if you're gonna do it together. If you want it to be evergreen, which is what I'm going for, which means at any point somebody can join my 28 day challenge and they can be up and running, that's what we're building right now. We're gonna do 28 days to elevate starts tomorrow and I'm gonna copy this, head back over to Marketing Sense and we're gonna make this day one and we're just gonna cut and paste it right in. When you copy and you paste this in, it will bring this link already to you. What you can do is, is take a look, go up and just take a look. We want the link. And make sure that, you know, this looks good, it's working, it's going where you want it to go. What I like to do though, is I do, I don't like to risk 
links getting broken in my 28 day campaign. What I'm gonna do and what I suggest that you do as well is go ahead and download this to your computer. And over here in Marketing Sense, we're gonna head for our Smart Sender. So I just selected the Marketing tab, come down to Smart Sender, and we are going to add a resource and we will be adding a document. Hit Browse. Grab your PDF, which is right here. This is your uh, 28 to Elevate workbook. We're going to name it. And hit save. So now we're going to, this is now part of our shareable materials and you can preview it, and here is exactly what it looks like. This will just send people to a URL to download the document instead of you having to attach it, which can get it kicked out of email servers, or and, and also not risking that link kind of getting broken at some point in the future. It just it puts it all kind of under your control, which is awesome because you know that unless you delete it, it's not going anywhere. It will be there for yourself and your clients. Let's head back over to our email marketing campaign. Grab our wording. I'm going to put in the recipient's first name. I always like using their first name. We start tomorrow. If you haven't done so already, so I'm going to delete that and just say, be sure to download the workbook so you can be ready to go. You can find that by clicking actually I'll just say clicking here. Okay, so let's click on that and edit our link. Bonk. Grab our URL, stick it in here, and open it in a new window and save. So excited to start this journey with you, Beverly, my number, and my email. These are, you know, your name, your number, your email. You do have codes for that. So you can like click here and say that you want to put in the sender's first name and it'll stick my name in there. But, you know, I just type it in. It's, it's easy that way. Yeah, click on it and hit delete. <laughs> All right, so we're going to save. Oh, this is going to be on day one. And we're going to save the message. And then what you're going to do is, is we will add a new message and it's going to be going out on day two. So we're gonna be repeating this process over and over and over again, customizing it wherever possible. So day number one, welcome, first name, let's get started. Come down, copy all of this, and stick it in here. Now, you may, um, I, I always like to sign these with my name and my contact information. I really want people to get to know me. You also do need to kind of double check it. There's just, there's not many errors in here, but just a few little ones where there's like a double S or something like that. 
but really read through it and make it yours. Add a photo of yourself if you would like to. Grab some things that you want to stick in there to really make it you. Also, as you're going through these 28 days, they have some of these like listen to links and things like that that are over here on YouTube. And so I just want to show you how to get those into your marketing sense also so that they just like look a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and save this one. And I want to show you this again. I know we've done this in other videos, but we're going to go into marketing and come down to your video creator. We're going to import it from YouTube. Put the web address there. And then I usually just copy the text from here. Come back over and name that my video. And then when you hit share, you do have a link where you can share just that video or right into your email. It has the link, it's got the text, and then you can use the video's thumbnail instead of the text, which is what I recommend. And then I like to have it open up in a new tab. So they're gonna see this. You know, you can leave it just the wording if you would like to, but now it's embedded and, and you can open it up. And you'll see that now this is going to be on the Marketing Sense platform. Or no fault, no Makes blame, it a little no easier. Guilt, and no shame. Okay, just kind of keeps it all under one roof. You can really do both. Like I, I think I would put in the thumbnail, but I would also say make sure that you watch this video and then link the video and just kind of keep all things connected, okay? So there you have it. There is what needs to happen next is bouncing back and forth between copying all of this text, reading through it, making it yours, coming back into Marketing Sense, getting back into your campaign details, adding those days and building it out. And that is the next step, is to pack this with all of this beautiful information. So take a little pause in the video or go back and watch it again and come back to me when all 28 days are set because we still have a little bit more, bit more work to do on that landing page to make sure that it is going to connect with our contact folder that will then put people into the drip campaign and then we're ready to share. So I will see you right back after all of that work is done. Good luck, my friend. And if you need me, private message me, call me, text me, whatever you need to do, smoke signal, whatever. I will be on the lookout for you because I really want to help and make sure that everything is going smooth. So good luck, friend. Welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. Let's continue down this path on this journey, this fantastic way to really serve people with great information, set them off on the right track, one foot in front of the other with their health and fitness, and also connect people to the Young Living products that we're all passionate about and get them started off right. So I'm so excited because we are almost done. So good job, way to get all the way through it. I know it's tough, but I'm very proud of you. I'm so happy that you decided to keep going. What we're gonna do now is you need to connect your landing page to the right file so that people will be able to receive your drip campaign, okay? So remember that it went landing page and then it went to the drip campaign that people were gonna get, okay? So let's jump into that really quick. What we're gonna do is, is we're gonna hit my website. We're gonna go to lead capture page options and go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom and we are going to select from the lead capture page that we are working on, capture page options. Now, again, if you use Aweber, you can do a little Aweber integration. 
I don't see any reason to use Aweber because Marketing Sense comes complete with an email drip campaign system. So, you know, why, why bother? <laughs> so what we're going to do next is we're going to go to Contact Folder and we're going to drop down and go ahead and find the contact folder that we created, which was 28 to elevate. That's the folder that everybody is going to go into. And when it asks for the email campaign, we're going to select the 28 to elevate email campaign. Now here is where you can actually put in a custom confirmation page. So when people fill out their lead form and they put in their name and they put in their email address, the next page that they go to is something that is really special just for them, just for this project. So if you wanted to do that, you can select create custom page. And we would call this 28 to elevate. And again, I typically do no theme. That's just my thing. And here's where you have your headline. You can put in another photo. So we can say, thank you for joining main text. Really important point that sometimes will get missed is you do want to say, if you have any problems, be sure to contact and then put your contact information in there so that if there's any problems, any questions, somebody needs to get a hold of you, they know how to do it. And just to make it pretty, I'm going to go ahead and put that same image in there. If you have an image of yourself in your face that you want to use, you can drop that in there too so people know who they're connecting with. So there you go. So save changes. And let's preview it. Good. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so that's all set up now. So we're going to go back to our lead ca capture page. Back to capture page options. And now for our confirmation page, we're going to select 28 to elevate. So then, by default, people who fill out your lead capture page, they're usually sent to the first page of your website. But we created a custom confirmation page, so that should be the first thing that they see. Um, everything should be on the up and up. So let's try it out. We need to test everything. So I'm going to take my link, head for my go, Beverly, Beverly at the leaf drop, and submit. Okay, so this is going to the first page of my website. So let's go back to the capture page options. Oh, we must not have hit the save button. Hit the save button, everybody. So 28, 28, confirmation page is 28. <laughs> and we are not going to have this pre-recorded message prompt. Make sure to turn that off. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. We're going to refresh it, and Beverly, submit. There we go. Okay, so we've got a custom page there. That email will now arrive in our inbox, and then starting tomorrow, which would be day one, they will get that very first email that is in the email campaign, and everything will be up and running. So there you go. Isn't that awesome and wonderful? The last thing that I do want to show you is just a really quick option, which is if you are going to be starting this as a group. So let's say that you want to do this not as an email drip campaign, but you actually want to do it as a team. The way you're going to send out these emails is you can have that same landing page where it says, you know, sign up. We're going to be starting on January 5th, for example. Okay. 
Then what you're going to do is you're going to create the contact folder, put the email campaign. Um, you're not going to do it in campaign form. I know that seems really odd, but what's going to happen instead is you're going to go into marketing and you're going to go into your email broadcast tool. And what you'll do is, is instead of creating a 28 day campaign, you're going to create a series of broadcast emails. And so you'll come down to your 28 to elevate. And this is where you're going to build your message. I'm just gonna say test on everything. We're gonna to continue to step four. And then what you're gonna do is you will schedule your day of delivery. So let's say that you were gonna start it January 5th or how about 4th, because that's a Monday. And then you would set the time and you would hit save and finish. And that is going to schedule that email for you. Then you'll grab your text for the next email. You'll go back in and you'll schedule it for the next day. And it's gonna to go to those contacts that you have in that folder and everybody will get it. What's nice about that is that even people that join a little bit later, like let's say that they join on day five, they'll start getting the emails from day five on. The only way to make sure that every single person, no matter what day they sign up on, starts with day one is to put it into the email drip campaign. But there is this broadcast delivery method as well if you wanna do it as a team challenge. So there you go, you guys, friend, I hope that your mind is full and that you are excited about starting your very first 28 day challenge that you can do with your fellow downline members. You can do it with friends. You can do it with clients. And if you follow the 28 day challenge yourself, you are going to be amazed at what it will help you do for your mind, for your body, just all over health and wellness, which is absolutely what we love here at Young Living. So thank you for joining me once more for Technology Tuesday. I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Have an absolutely beautiful week. Goodbye.